How's it and welcome to another one of my video reps. Um, this is going to be a little bit special. This is another one in the pro reps category, but I'm going to do this at tw two times speed. Otherwise, this might uh, take a little bit too long. So we have, have again DJ Sweetbase, who I have already casted one. We have as the Zerg, and we have no limbs left as a turn. So in terms of having something to talk about, this shouldn't be that big of a problem. So there you go. I have the flashy little thingy here as well. I'm T by the way. So apparently this was a random player. So really curious. The dancing of the SEV is rather frantic. I'll slow down when there's an important battle going on. But uh, now I'll just pick up the pace. Now we have 15. I do believe we're going to see a 16 hatch or something along those lines. Yes, indeed. We have a 16 hatch followed by hopefully a 15 pool. Otherwise, I don't know anything about this game anymore um, or is he just gonna go straight up for a third base and go what is it what should we call it again Spanish was or what is this called his nickname called I don't know is that three bases straight off or they're just plain stupid we'll find out soon enough I guess extractor going down now now okay that's good the refinery is up for the Terran and we have a tech lab going here as well so are we going to see a one-time re reaper no we're just gonna see marines and stim so there you go are we going to see three racks yes we are ah, quite fast really there we go <laughs> uh, queen on the second hatchery very well I've, I've got a feeling that twi time two times speed is actually a lot more but that's okay so there we go, the three racks, we have the expansion, so are we going to see, yes, we are going to see a spine crawler. Um, and right now we don't see a lot of gas, well, we have not enough gas mined yet, so because of the late gas, I suppose. There we go. Shit you saw, I think. Yes, yeah, so we have two reactors indeed, and the stims almost researched, and the command center going in for the expansion soon. Uh, let's see here. There we go. We have the speed now being researched. I was wondering about that. Uh, one spine crawler, a little bit of overlord moving. There's two marines going out. Speed overlords. Wonderful. Okay, so we have two marines, marauder book. So we're going to see a little bit of a bunker push. Really cautious here. Doesn't, yeah, it's probably scattered out now. A lot of Zerglings, and now we'll see what's going to happen. The bunkers aren't yet, not yet done, but the Zerglings couldn't get them. Marauders really well positioned, going to get the Bronte for the assault, and the Zerglings get taken down before they could reach the... Oh, but the Stim's worked out, is out now. We have the bunkers being filled in, and not really doing anything. We've got spine crawlers, we've got Banelings. This is going to end very badly for the Terran. A lot of Zerglings were killed, but nothing in the economy is down. we got to have the Marines now going in. The Spy Crawler is almost is burrowed. Zerglings again go in, but retreat because they can't get near those bunkers. Now going to try to set up another flank, but I don't think that's enough links. You need the Bane links for that. You need the Bane flank. Oh, is he going to try something else? He's going to go for the Terran base now. Right when the Orbital Command is flying. Let's see, we still have units here, we still have the banelings there, whatever we have in the production tab, more links, more banes, there goes your bittle. Can we see the zerglings going in, yeah, or bittle command gone, but there's no, there's nothing there to break, and there we go, in the meantime we have an attack here, the banelings go in, you need to be careful, nice micro there, but, uh, I thought he might actually break the bunker, but he's not going to. Zerglings just waiting patiently, delaying that expansion. And still, Zerg here. He's got the lair up now. Getting Carapace. And another attack. The Zerglings, the Terran moved out. And that was a bit of a mistake. Most of me, oh, the supply depot goes back up. The expansion still halted it's down already i don't know what he's trying to do here bunker goes down and command center lifts off still we have only one marauder one marine in here so really a token presence there let's see do we see some more tech we don't see tech yet for the zerg we have a lot of shit building for the terran but that expansion is still not up thwarted by a couple of links still waiting in the background here they might turn to uh a main statue apparently as well. Go to try a land again. Maybe they'll pop to Banelings and just rape everything when the SEVs arrive. Let's see. But um, 
right now. Infestation pit right in the open. Really strange position. But I guess that will be out of the way of any base base locked uh, scans there. Oh, the Lynx tried to attack, but that rather failed. Third now going up. Right on time, actually. Maybe a minute late or something. There's the infestation pit. Now, no creep spread whatsoever from the Zerg here, but he has been a little busy. And oversaturation there. There you go, yeah, I've seen it. Burrow now also being researched. Burrowed links, um, burrowed banes probably. We've got tanks. Now marine shields being great. Uh, there we go. Third base. Is he going to go straight for the goal? I think he might. Alright. Let's speed it up a little bit more. Because we have a very long game to go. That helps. Let's see if I can keep up with the action there. So links, links, links. We still, we have a Nidus Worm. If a station pit not really being used yet, but the Nidus network might help. You go Lynx, trying to maintain map control, not going to happen. But they do know that that goal is there. More barracks going up, more production. Planetary Fortress in the middle, as you should. No saturation on the third yet, you should. Um, there you go, so just Marine Marauder. Nidus network, and here come the Nidus. Going in straight for the main base. Is he going to recall? Yes, he is. He's going to drop inside his own main. That's going to be strange. The Zergling's not really doing any damage. Only getting that barracks to about half health. When the cavalry arrives. Uh, is the cavalry arriving? Yes, thank you. Okay, good. First one to, to kill that worm. Right now, the Banelings here. Three of the Zerglings who were here are morphing into Banelings now. The drop is going to go inside the main of the... Of the Zerg here, and that might actually do a lot of damage, except for the fact that there's a huge army of Bailings there. Going to ram straight down the throat of the Terran, even the Marauder goes down. But still, they're there. S please use something. Is he going to fungle them? What is he going to do? And they'll sacrifice a couple of him investors in there. A lot of Lings getting killed in that bottleneck there. Wow. That was a little bit too successful for what it was. Um... The tank here, didn't really get vision on anything, We've what well, we have, we have 20 Zerglings, and the third of the, of the Terran now finally going up, Let's see here, so the gold is pretty much up income wise, this is not looking good for the Zerg, even well, well gas, not many gas, not much gas is being mined, funny enough, he's got nothing on these guys, he's only got one Harvester here, but I'm guessing if he devotes himself to marines that's not that big of a problem but hey if you have it why don't you use it it's very strange by the way CVs can still enter planetary fortresses which is really weird um, right so another nidus worm on the exact same location and there's a lot of lings that are about to pop straight into it and he does he see this Yes, but he has nothing inside here. There you go, Lings and Banes. Going in and that piecemeal attack there. Just moving in them one by one is not going to help much. More of them coming in, but he needs to watch out for bottlenecks like that. Got to get through, but all the casualties in the Zerglings. The Banelings now coming in to do nothing because everything's already dead now. More forces streaming in slowly, but no real damage. Only the main, which is, was already pretty much mined out. More Z Zerglings streaming in. But he needs to start attacking something that matters instead of assimilators and engineering bays. They, yeah, the upgrade is going to get cancelled. Fungal glow growth on the marine. And, um... Slowly digesting this base from the inside now. Finally. So yeah. Army wise they're pretty much exchanging. Now finally the production being attacked. There you go. No lifting off which is really strange. Should not lose these. More incoming. Does he have production somewhere else? I don't know. So finally, do kill the Zerglings at the top, please. Do kill them, yes, okay, good, thank you. And repair before everything explodes. 
the meantime, there's two investors here. <laughs> a lot, and yeah, supply did go down there a lot. Nidus Worm gets taken care of. So the main and production facility, the supply and the production is dead. Now that engineering bay going back up, two of them now. And he needs to start microwaving up. Now let's see. Right now, Zerg's not doing much. Ultralisks, aha. Another drop in the main though. Needs to be careful with that infester. Do fungal. Oh, he's going to burrow. That's clever. Bailing's coming in, getting picked up. That's why you needed the burrow earlier. Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Ah, that's going to hurt. Right. So he's saving up for Ultralisks. And a Spire now as well. Let's see here. So, so it does have a third, but it's not... And this, this second wasn't even... Well, this is a third. The other one's a fourth. Not even saturated yet. He should, though. Well, the same can be said for the Terran's fourth. Doesn't have a main anymore. Now we're going to expand again. Apparently he cancelled that. Uh, plus three, plus three. Carapas all around and plating as well. Two Ultralisks already being produced, but he needs more gas. And that's exactly what's going to happen here, I hope. Two. And now finally taking the gold, whereas the gold for the Terran's already sort of completely mined out. Just look at that. The difference. But that's actually... Hang on, this is rather confusing. Yeah, there you go. It's actually the Zerg mining more. Especially when the, when gas is concerned. Because this is still only being mined by one... One little <laughs> SUV here. Three now on this. But only one again. Only one again. So just to stand. And now finally sending some to gas. I think he finally realized. A little bit of an attack there in the middle now. Some Zerglings got massacred in that third... That gold, I keep calling it the third. Th that's a good fungal. Oh, he stimmed as well. That's no good. Ah. Yeah, stimming when fungal, not a good idea. No, no. I can't believe he didn't just put a um, marine there or something. But all right. The third time in the same fucking spot. The spot that was designed for it. Hatchery is going to complete. That's no good. There we go, we've got Ultralisks, the Zerglings, and Massacre all around. The Banelings going in for the tanks, apparently. Just gonna move straight past. Straight into the gold. Oh, that's a lot of burning. Ah! Uh, bird destruction all around. The Planetary Fortress already has 20 kills. 22 kills on its name. And those Ultralisks need to run away now. Run away real fast. The infestors are there. I wonder what they're going to do. Are they being spotted? I do believe they are. I think he might have not... If he unburrows them, this is going to be really painful. In the meantime, the hatchery gets it. I'm going to go burrowing somewhere else, apparently. Nice worm still there, untouched. This is the only production so far for Terran. He's really... He's blittling 13 Marines, which is nothing. He's got three barracks and not really replacing anything, even though he's got 700 minerals in the bank. Same can be said for the Zerg, but he's in, in mineral trouble, really. Building two more now. He's utilizing all the gas he can get. Whereas Terran sort of snuffs at the idea of mining gas. Need to be careful with these. Very expensive. Marines going a little bit too far, and they will be killed. Oh, hello. What Terra needs is some more AoE. He's got a couple of tanks, but just the Marines aren't going to hold. He's going to need something to deal with those masses of, of Zerglings. Because the Ultralisks... <sighs> well, there's a lot of them already. I don't see this going well for the Terran, who stubbornly really refuses to build anything that produces units. That's okay, he's building his, uh, his upgrades. There we go, 28 more Zerglings. Terran builds up a nice force, but it, it'll... I don't know, these three factories... 
Come on, then. I think Zerg has a stronger army here. In the form of motherfucking Ultralisks. There we go. Oh, that's a good place to build a command center there. Watch out for the splash of the tanks. And I wonder what the planetary fortress is going to do. I see a lot of dead bodies in the, uh, in the form of Zerglings there. Oh, but that's a lot of Ultralisks going in now. Is he going to take care of the planetary fortress, which already has 50 kills by now? Fungal growth on the Marines at last. And the planetary fortress eventually is going to go down with 57 kills on it. And now the production here is going to get des destroyed. Everything is going to get destroyed. And can Terran hold this? Production says no. Completely destroy the... He's building. He has a little bit of a Zerg problem. We do have a drop here. Killing the Spire and most of the drones here. Which wasn't a lot. Don't think it'll be enough to even the score though. As they, the only mining base of the Terra now gets invaded. Need to lift off rather quickly. Or he's going to lose it all. One hatchery down. Zerg so doesn't need production in a minute because, you know, rare turn of events. Zerg so didn't lose his entire army while attacking Terran. Don't know what died there. Probably an infester. This tank did its job. 22 kills on it. So a lot of units being produced, but no income whatsoever. It's also been, well... I can't believe he only lifted off once it was burning. I mean, just lift it off straight off. These are ultralisks. Don't worry, they might appear tall, but they can't really jump that high. So this is going to burn down in a minute. Ultralisks probably stalk it. Anyway. Medivac is here, but apparently without troops. And I don't see this dragging on much longer. Just going to speed this up a little bit. How's it infested there? Does he see it coming though? Oh, there it is. Can't quite make it out. <laughs> Where did he go? There it is. And then it dies. That was smart. Not really. Hey, ah, okay. Repair it. Thank you. Maybe drop some mules down. You'll probably need it. Income wise, yeah, that's kind of sad. Really, really sad. Funny enough, Terran actually is doing rather well. Don't know why the hell. That's not right, is it? How can that be right? This is this is blue. So this is the Terran. He's mining more gas. Oh, Zerg's not mining at all. That's interesting. Why not? There's a million drones here. None of them are at the extractor. Uh, this is a problem. Terran's slowly building up its force again because he's mining. Using the mules, finally. One. Okay, commendable. Expansion going down. Oh, <laughs> Poor old Ultralisks, my old favorite. Really? <laughs> Six carapaces on this. Oh, that's good. <laughs> hey, Zerg, where did your army go? There you go, that's the mules I was looking for. That's going to help the income a bit. Look at that. Boink. Do kill him now, please. Right, speeding up. I want to wait for these guys. There you go! Jeep, 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 jeep. Oh, not even going to kill mules. Couple of them. <laughs> well, these marines are actually not that fantastic. Eight damage versus something that has six fucking uh, armor. Uh, yeah. Very good. 
but the placement's all right with the tanks. But I can't believe Zerg is really, really faltering. What's APM-wise? It's terrible here. So look at that. Half the APM of the of the Terran. He's really not doing anything. He thought he won, probably. Oh, no way. Cloak Banshees, really. Novel. Didn't, didn't go so well, did it? Alright. <laughs> Good enough to chase away the Ultralisks. Do be careful. Spore Crawlers here. Spire again going up. For some reason. Baneling's trying to mine minerals. But at least he's mining gas again. He's getting his second up. He should have the map for fuck's sake. He could go for the gold. I don't understand what he's doing. I'm actually kind of angry because this should have been finished. But the Terran now has a bigger army than the fucking Zerg. And an EV deploys at this expansion. It's going to be a real big problem. What did he do? Have to answer the phone or something? Fuck's sake. There's a lot of damage Ultralisks here who won't help. Terran's setting up, but of course if the Ultralisks can get through to the tanks, but they don't have any buffer units. Oh look, Fungal. Please don't tell me you... You you didn't, okay. Ow. Terran can't move in. He's kind of blocked here. Why the fuck didn't Zerg take out every single expansion on the map? Tanks now trying to set up, but we do have some Mutalisks. But we have Marines as well, and these are actually good against the Mutalisks. You really do some trouble. Ah! Now then, we have Mutalisks and we have Ultralisks. I wonder what's going to happen next. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Losing two like that? Ugh. No, but there are two command centers being built for the Terran. See, he was the fucking underdog. He got hammered back into his main with... Well, he doesn't have a main. Let's be honest. Mutalisks now. Do we see... No, we don't see any anti-air whatsoever. Don't think... No, he still has to build an engineering bay. That's going to cost him. There goes the supply. He's blocked. He really needs this. And none of them are going to complete. This one, sadly enough... As one, as 30 out of 30, it's actually complete, it doesn't know it yet. Some, some Marines, he needs to be careful with these Mutalisks against Marines. I, oh, come on, look at that. I hate it when that happens. Anyway, moving in then. The Mutalisks are out of town, and oh dear god, the Ultralisks. So many of the Ultralisks going down, it's so very painful to watch. Only two remaining now, only one remaining. God damn it, they're gonna kill everything. All but one of them, all but two of them die. This one doesn't know he's dead, but he is really. And even the Mutalisks get taken down. Are they going to finish off the command center? No, they will not, and the Mutalisks get taken down. Appalling. Absolutely a fucking appalling. Yes, indeed. Epic. With an F somewhere. Niners Worm still here. Just minding its own business. I wonder what he's thinking. Staring up to the stars. Making up constellations. The Banshees now. But we do have some flappers. We don't have any detection though. That's nice. Can we see some detection please? This is... <sighs> now the energy is going to help him. Oops, of these. Now before the hatcheries goes down. Two, one, another dead one. Hey, I don't know. Maybe you can fungal those. Yeah, there you go. That'll help. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Two, one, that one dies as well. Right, so in the meantime, Terran's actually going to start producing something, I hope. Other than... Oh, I see, the SEV got killed. Maybe you want to complete that, I don't know. Much of a bother, really. 
and a lot of flying buildings here as well. And this one also thwarted. No force for the turn though. Let's see. We still have these two ultralisks with the one who doesn't know he's dead. What do we have in units? Five flappity flaps. We have some brood lords though. Apparently that spire over here was grated. And a couple of rings. Which will if he stems up at the right time. Oh, he's going to lose another hatchery. Fascinating. He's going to lose all of his supply if he's not careful. Flying Manta's not even coming over anymore. He needs to have a good fungal, but he only has one infester. This is quite sad. Is he going to cancel it? Please cancel it. He doesn't cancel it. What is it? Is it assumed cool to not cancel a hatchery that's going to die any second? Well, Broodlord scare him a little bit. That's good. Scare him, hopefully. Well, the main is also dead, apparently. I missed that. I'm sorry. I completely missed that. The entire main was raped. <laughs> the hive's dead and everything. I didn't see that. Probably the, ha the, ba the banshees did that. Oh, that's so stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> In any case, this expansion is dead as well. And I missed that as well. I'm sorry. After a while, you just don't see things anymore. Down now. Moving in. None of them, well Zerg has a lot of minerals, doesn't have any supplies, rebuilding that now, a little bit clumsy there, what the hell is going on back and forth? One of the Broodlords is already down, sniped down. Now the tanks need to run for the airborne assault here. Meantime, this very small fort, the Ultralisks are still there, and these are just Marines. Most of them get picked off by the Medevac, picked up by the Medevac, the others are picked off by the Ultralisks. Now finally, that incomplete command center might get killed. The other one as well. SV doesn't really know what happened. And I absolutely have no idea whether or not these guys are alive or not. Terran has 100 minerals, so he's not mining anymore. I do believe that might be a bit of a problem. Zerg doesn't have a base anymore. He's finally morphing back into a lair after his, ha well, the ninja attack on his main, which I saw nothing of. He's got a couple of overlords. That, yeah. Army size, 90. I need to say that I think Zerg has this. Some Viking zone. That's a little big force, and that's really stupid losing. You Argle burgle. That was painful to watch, and we still have some corruptors who are hopefully going to morph into Broodlord soon because he needs the forces. There you go. Needs to be careful with those tanks and those marines out of position. The Zerglings coming in, but a lot of them get completely destroyed by the tanks in the background. Darren's not mining anymore. He could easily get this group, lift that off, start fucking mining again somewhere. Zerg could have had the map yet again. As he has 4,000 minerals in the bank and 1,000 gas. Could have been somewhat spent on expansions. Another drop, drop here is going to get quickly extinguished. And that's the time for the Broodlord to attack. There is still that Viking though, but the Tanks get destroyed. Needs to be all oh, loses another. He loses these units that are so very important so easily. The unit he could easily have killed first. I wonder where the dropship is going to go for another go. The drones only just returning, and they won't do much as there's too many zerglings. Darren. Yeah, that says it, doesn't it? There go the tanks, and that's the last of the Terran army. 
Doing some micro now that it matters. GG man, going from no names left, and there you go. Now DJ Sweetbase, of course, sent me this replay after I did the first of the pro reps with his with him. And uh, I must say, with all honesty, DJ, this game could have been 20 minutes long. <laughs> And it's quite appalling <laughs> how you dragged it on and it was your game to win and the Terran games to lose. So, uh, good game, you won, but I cannot excuse the mistakes. Hopefully that wasn't too hard on you. Of course you lost the main and all that, but you could have taken the map. Especially this, this gold here is a big mistake. Then again, the Terran, he could have had a comeback. I don't know. Anyway, good game. Onwards to... Well, when I feel like doing StarCraft 2 again. 